I've got the right house for you in Winter Garden that has a five acre recreational area with exercising station, community pool, tot lot, a gas community. And on top of that, they have lots available that are on the lake that you could build a dock or on the lake that you can get the view. I've got a perfect house for you. A++ school, don't miss out. Let's check this model. Hi guys, I've got a perfect house for you here in Winter Garden. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom, over 3,000 square foot, sitting on a lot with the lake view. You can build a dock. I want to show you this house. This is an inventory home and as the time of the shoot, it is still available. So let's check this beautiful house. Should you have any questions, don't forget to reach out to me, 321-276-8601. For now, let's look at this beautiful home. Hello, hello, welcome home. So guys, before I take you on the tour for this home, let me tell you a little bit about this community. I did mention that in the very beginning of my introduction to this area. Now, this is a beautiful community. The house is four bedroom, three bathroom, but it's sitting on a lake lot. It doesn't have a dock, but you can actually build a dock. It has over five acre plus recreational area, the thought lot, so it has a lot to offer and your shopping and your groceries are just about five to 10 minutes away. It's actually 15 to 20 minutes to Disney. So as I go into my left hand side is that den area. And what I want to point out is how deep this area is. Now you can make this into your formal living area or if you work out of home, you could do that. But the two things that I want to point out is look at those big windows, the big curved windows. Now, the elevation of this house had those little curves as you saw in the beginning of the video. You would probably can actually, they have two different elevations that are not necessarily curvy. So if you do not like that, that could be changed. However, this house is available now and look at the lights. So it has the main light there, but it also has those recess light over here that gives it a lot of light when you need it, you know? And then right across from me, Again, the same pattern. So you have those big windows. You have your, your, this is your private dining area, I guess, or formal dining area. But the thing is, look at this. It has this uh, chandelier, but these, these things are static and it gives the definition. It really gives the definition to this specific part of the house. Now, as you go, I want you to look how deep is this. Look, this is all your open space. You have a beautiful kitchen. And by the way, it is a gas community. So it has a tankless water heater and you have gas appliances. But look at the depth of this island. It does have the three pendle lights. So you can get that and you can actually have bar stools. It's an upgraded um, kitchen. Uh, what it is, is it has the double oven right over here. And then you have all the cabinets over there your gas appliances, but look at the space, guys. Wow, it's, it's, it's a lot of space with one sink, you know, a farm sink. And then over here is your bread area. What I like about this is, is that little subway, -ish, you know, the whitish backsplash over here. And on that side, you, um, you have your fridge, of course, obviously. And then as you go, come on over. So over here, what they did is they put this little station. So this is your like wine dine station. You come out, you put your keys. I have actually seen people, uh, you know, who has small pets or make this into a pet area also. But let me show you the laundry because it does have an upgrade. It does have a folding area with your cabinet, a cabinet, uh, I'm sorry, a rack over here, right above your washer dryer and your wash area over here. So I'm going to show you the garage of this house. Now this is very, very unique to this specific house. And you would know what I mean by that. So look at this guys. It's actually a three car garage, but from the front of the house, it's only two car. What they're doing is they're using this bay. So as you could see, you there's no front load. There's a huge um, window 
but you have an option if you build to make this a three car and have this all covered so you can just bring it but i know for some people they don't really need a three car garage what they really need is that space over there you know or if you are a car collector or you have something you could actually just park it over there so there is enough room for that and that's very unique and and the designers are very nice like if you look at the front elevation of the house it, it's very different it's very workable you know as i take you around i'm going to show you how deep is this so before i take you on this side of the house is going to be the other three bedrooms and two bathroom but look at this area this is your nook area guys and look at it again so much space you know 3000 square foot and it flows really really well as i go straight down you have your pantry area so you have a lot of space plus a pantry now in this house i forgot to mention you can actually actually do a bonus room also if you like which could be up you know, of course the price is going to be different and look at this guys. So you have your closet over here. Now this is a Jack and Jill. So what I mean by that is, is that you have a bathroom in the middle and, um, and you have a bathroom in the middle and you have the other room on the other side. So let me go ahead and take you around. So as we go in, this is your area. Now they have the door and this is your wash washroom and the commode area and then you have the sink which is a dual sink you know and then as you go around it's pretty much the same size room but what i want to point out is the view you know you wake up to this beautiful view you know this is great and then you have another bedroom which is also a good size and that two have a view. So all the bedroom except one have a view of the lake and look at the depth. Look, I'm standing right corner to corner. It is a big room. So as I go straight down, one thing that I did forget to point out uh, before I forget again is, is look at the style. So now this is a very lightish uh, white grayish kind of thing. Now this is another bathroom so should you decide to build a pool which you probably could in this lot because it's sitting on a huge lot and build a dock this would be the bathroom that would be for your access for the pool area so this is a full bathroom so you can just go in people can use this area also and then the bedroom over there can use this now it is a walk-in uh, bathroom so and it's a pretty good size again uh, with the lowest little cubby holes uh, which i'll show you actually the hazard in the master area also now this is your linen area and as i go what i want you to look at is how big is this room look at the size of this room guys still going keep going look at it look at it now they do have four races lights over here but look at it there is one right there and then if you walk you're still walking, still walking, still walking. Okay, you see how far spread? No, this is your main wall where you're gonna have your TV and stuff. So look at the space. This is what I wanna point out, how open. Now, as I go across, on my right-hand side is your master bedroom. And I wanna show you again how deep and how big this is. Now, this is a door that actually leads you to your lanai area. And let me show you. This is what you're going to wake up to. So it doesn't matter which side your bed is going to be, but this is the view that you are going to have. Now, this lake is a skiable lake. You could put your boat, you could do a lot of things, and you can actually fish here and enjoy the fish here. So this, this lake is, is not uh, one of those either on John or a Popka Lake. You cannot actually do that because the lake is polluted. This is a, by itself a beautiful lake, good size, but a very clean lake. So as I go, I'm gonna show you this area. This is your master bathroom. So look at the space again, guys. You have the two sinks. You have this freestanding um, tub area. You have your walk-in shower. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But let me point out, you have a closet there and you have a pretty good size closet at the back. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute, but let me show you this. Look at the space, guys. Look at the space. And then it has those two cubby holes, you know, and look at it, guys. This is really, really nice. And then you have your linen area right there. And then as I walk in, this is my walk-in closet. But guys, look at this, it's split. You have one side and you have the other side. That's more than enough, but I'm sure it is not for some people. So you have this, 
but then you also have that closet. Let me go ahead and quickly show you that in just a moment. So if you look at, look at this, this is also a pretty good size, you know? I'm gonna take you outside. I'm gonna show you the lot that it's sitting on. And at the time of this shoot, it is still available. They just reduced the price. So if you are in this area looking for A++ school, 15 to 20 minutes to Disney, then this is the place for you. But look at this, guys. Look how deep is your lot. So this is your covered lanai area. You can actually build a pool here. And look at this, guys. So you can build a pool. And like, this is a really nice place. I could just jog up and down my own place. But you could build a dock. And, and come on over. Let me just show you how deep that is. Keep going. So you can have your dock over here, guys. So if you are in the market looking to buy a, a, a winter, I'm sorry, a winter garden area, A plus school, close to shopping and everything, this is the house for you. It is available as we speak. Make sure you call me. I don't get paid by you. I get paid by the builder, but I do work for you. I am representing you, not the builder. I hope you enjoy our videos. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell icon. We look forward to bring you these kind of model homes and I'm going to jog there and I'm going to see you on the next one.